naked and we're gonna try it on and then okay see hi everyone sorry i am so sorry i have not made a video in a couple weeks because first of all uh let me get in that shine spot um i made a video and i thought that was gonna be funny and it, it's just like this little video like three minutes long and I have to do an over thing and I have not been funny at all and I'm not talking looks okay <laughs> but <sighs> so I haven't made a video because I've been stuck on that video and basically nothing really good has been going on like nothing fun but let me tell you I have splurged okay I mean I never do this, but I did. I did, and we're gonna do an unboxing. We're gonna do a try-on haul. I even found new skincare, yeah, from Target. That's amazing, especially if you're in dry weather like I am. Um, let's see, what else do I have for you today? I have some things that are gonna come later on. So, part of this big, huge splurge. I mean, splurge, okay? Oh, and then I have a, yeah, another unboxing. So I'm very excited for this video. I hope you enjoy it. Anyhow, first things first, we are doing a mod and Gunny Sack, can you believe it, Gunny Sack, did a collab and we are doing a try on haul and an unboxing. Now I have to be honest with you, I got my box yesterday and I filmed it and I'll put it in after I get done talking real quick. But, um, I'll put that in of the unboxing and then we're doing the try on haul. And then at the same time, I got this other box that I've been so excited for and it wasn't supposed to come until today, but came yesterday and I didn't want to uh, do that, you know, unbox it and then put the footage in. I'd rather, I mean, it's all recorded, right? I, I mean, that makes no sense. But anyway, um, so let me put in the footage of unboxing and see what I got. And sorry, it's going to be loud in here because it's 90 degrees and we don't have air conditioning and it's been like 90 for a week. Thank God no smoke. Let me knock on wood. So let, I'm going to go get naked. You can see that on my other channel. Just kidding. I don't have any of those kind of channels. But uh, I'm going to go get naked and we're going to try it on and then I'll see you at the end of this clip. But with clothes on. Okay, I'll see. Hello, everyone. Happy uh, day after the 4th of July, and I am so excited because it's morning time. Tito, no. Tito, <laughs> Tito was going in the pot. Anyway, I just got this package. Obviously, it's not sponsored, but um, I had to splurge, okay? Uh, one of my favorite 70s, 80s designers did a collab with Mod Cloth, and so I had to buy some pieces. I wish it was sponsored, let me tell you. Anyway, uh, I gotta get off my knees. I've been on them all morning, and that's not, oh my God, that's not what you're thinking. It's not because of that. Our washing machine broke, and I had to wash some stuff, and then I spilled the laundry soap ever. It's been a day, it's been a day. But anyway, look at this package. Uh, this is how it came. Yeah. Luckily, there's nothing in here that will get ruined, hopefully. So, let's open it up. I'm so excited. Oh, I see the first one. I hope they fit. I don't know if they will. Um, if they fit, I'll put them in a different video because I got things to do right now. Um, but here's the first. I got this um, gunny sack. That's who did a collab with Mod Cloth. And so I got this pretty, I know I don't wear colors or patterns, but look at this. Isn't she cute? Oh my God. And then, um, let's see, what's this one? Oh, I think this is the skirt. Uh, I got three pieces. It cost me $377. So just to be transparent here, so hopefully they'll fit or not too big. But I got the gutty sack. This is a skirt. Thinking they will fit. I don't know. 
and um, this one I'm just so excited about. And I know it looks the same as the other ones, but it's not the same. Oh, my knees hurt. Look how cute this is. It has like a little pendulum part here. Oh, I'm so excited. It goes a little below the knees. I, oh, I guess mid shin. I hope this works. So, yes. Um, I'm so excited. I love all the gunny sack stuff. I didn't love it as a kid, but you know my fas fascination with like wedding dresses and stuff like that. It's, oh, I love it. Anyway, um, back to the video. Here. Okay, here's the first piece. It is a skirt. It's a little big, um, and I can't zip it up all the way. That's the one thing with like, when you get the satiny things on a zipper, it makes it hard to zip up all the way. <laughs> it's up to my boobs now. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm the, I'll put a little picture right here of full length of this. And um, yeah, I like it. It has pockets. I like it. It has pockets and it's so cute. It's a little big. I bet I can take it in a little bit, but let's go put on the next one. Okay, so here's piece number two. I'm going to go to the side because I'm going to do up and down right here so you can fully see it. I got it in an extra large because I do have big boobs and I don't know why they always put padding in big booby bras. Free the nipple! <laughs> As my boyfriend would say. Anyhow, not to scream in your face, but look. Um, so here's the dress. Well, you can see it right here. And I think it fits pretty good, except for this is very um, big. So I think if I could just, looks like my boobs are taking over the world. Um, I will not be wearing this bra. <laughs> but I think I could just take this in a little, like do a ghost, um, what is that called? A ghost stitch right there. And it should be fine. But yeah, it's pretty cute. I love it. I did um, order this in a large also. So uh, I'm waiting for that to come in because um, the other piece is extra large. And I, I was, I'm like in between a large and an extra large, but I always go a little bit bigger because of my boobs. But yeah, so let me uh, get on the other dress. And yeah, everything has pockets. Love that. Okay, this next one is my dream dress. I love it so much. Um, it has pockets, but again, it's, um, this bra is kind of filling it up more, but definitely boobs are taking over. But um, I think I can adjust it. You know, put a little ghost stitch, because this is kind of, kind of big. But yeah. It's so cute. Do you guys want to see two of my vintage ones? I'll show you. I won't turn them on. I'll just show you guys real quick. They're so cute. Um, but yeah, I love it. And yes, I had to change rooms because it was just too loud and too dark in there. So um, let me grab the other two vintage ones. Uh, the quality on these are really good. And that, okay, so my, real quick, my thinking was because they're made out of, everything's made out of cotton, it might shrink. That's why I got larger sizes. But we'll see, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of weird. Um, yeah, so let me go get the vintage ones real quick and you could see the difference in the material. Okay, so here's the first one. I think she needs to be, um, what is that? Dry clean because it's starting to get really yellowy. But look at how beautiful this is. I love this dress. This is like a dress I want to wear forever. Um, and yeah, the mix, mix match prints is always a gunny sack staple. Look at the hem on this. It's so old and just so ratty. But I, I wonder if you know, I mean, you can even see on the dress in the back it looks all yellow from the zipper but you think dry cleaning will do that clean this up because i don't want to it's real dusty too i don't want to ruin it this is like 
when I'm able to fit into this type of dress, I'm never taking it off. And here's the other one that I love also. Hopefully I'm not, okay. <laughs> Where'd that slip? And I was like, oh, hopefully I didn't tuck my slip into something. Okay, here's the other one that I love so much. And it's a little off the shoulder number and it has this little, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so it's kind of a just plain white gauzy with the lace at the bottom and has this detail. This part is like, I don't know what, what's going on with it, um, but it's maybe it just hangs really low. I don't know. But yeah, it zips up in the back. It doesn't zip up all the way. But yeah, these are two of my gunny sacks that I love. I wish I had the ones from when I was a kid. But anyway, um, I think let's just do the unboxing in here because um, it is noisy and dark out there. So let me go get the skincare first and then I will get the, um, the next thing I'm so excited about. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I have to tell you, when I was in Target, I got sold on the packaging. <laughs> but this stuff is amazing. It's vegan, of course. It's gluten-free, all that stuff. It's called Future Wise. Um, and this is the balm cream. Now, usually I use coconut oil all over my face, and it just gets wet, and it gets in my hair. And it's just, I don't know, it's a lot. But it's so dry here, like so dry our water's hard like it's it's all the things i'm able to get out of the shower after i put on my little aloe vera and stuff and just wear this without the coconut oil that is amazing because usually i would have to put on the coconut oil and then a moisturizer on top of that and the hydro cream and like all this whatever <laughs> i don't even know what i just said but you know the there's the acid cream um but I could go and just put this on and it's amazing. Um, and they have a night one too that I've been really loving. Actually, I'm gonna put on the night one right now because I do have this on my face. And you know, I don't wear makeup. I just color in my eyebrows and I put on lipstick. Probably should put on makeup, but you know. <laughs> you know. One of these days when I get my eyes done, maybe I, I could wear like something because my eyes are hooded. But anyway, so then they have this night cream, and it kind of reminds me, there it is, um, it kind of smells like shea butter, which I also use a lot of too, um, but not super strong shea, and it's pretty thick, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, and I've been using this uh, when I'm not going anywhere, I just at home and I can really tell a big difference in my wrinkles and it is this one is thick it's like like what kind of it's for night time it almost feels like if you hate this kind of feeling on your face almost like a Vaseline but it's not Vaseline it's just the have like shea butter it's like shea butter all over your face and it's thick. I have small pores and I don't break out very easy. So I don't know if you have oily skin, if this would work or not. But my skin is so dry. And it does like a nice little glow, you know? So I love this stuff. Um, I found it randomly on just some aisle. It wasn't with anything else. And I was like, Ooh, what is that? And they're $25 a piece. I got them at Target. You could probably get them online. But um, yeah. I bought another day one. So I have two day ones. They didn't have any more of the balm. I wish they did. But I'm, I'm thinking you could probably get it online. And so yeah, that stuff, you're in a dry area, try it out. Yeah, because look. And I, here's the other thing, like I am a side sleeper and I get really um, self-conscious about um, lines on my chest. And I do have some, as you can see, because. I was sleeping pretty hard last night. That's what he said. Um, and um, I feel like this kind of takes them away. So you don't look so 
You know what I mean? Someone told me that, and I've been self-conscious about that for the rest of my life. Or And looking down. Okay, so... <laughs> Just so random. Let me um, get the um, the box for the unboxing. This is amazing. I should probably wash my hands actually, because it. Spoiler alert! It's a book, but not just any book. Now, if you've been around for a long time, you would know I have a, a like a good book collection of like some like rare books and just weird books like. You know, Aaron Brockovich cookbook has the gangbang chicken in it. Um, but, and I also like, um, like pin, I don't want to say pin up because it's more porny, but like <laughs> Viva magazine from the 70s. I love the Cosmo magazines from the 70s. Gallery, we like 60s to 70s porn, I guess. Playgirl, or Playgirl, yes. Playgirl, I love Playgirl, um, but I'm not in it for the porn. It's like the whole, I like the aesthetic of that time period. And um, so that's why I, I, I collect that. I collect things that I love the aesthetics on. So brings me to this. Now, um, she's big. So let me, I didn't cut it open yet. I'm so excited. Everything in my power not to open this up yesterday. Oh my god! But um, oh, here it is. Um, wow, wow, wow. Okay. So it's a book about Bridget Bardell. It's wrapped in plastic. It's Photographs by Douglas Kirkland and Terry O'Neill. So I don't know if you guys know who Terry O'Neill is. Terry O'Neill was a uh, photographer, photographer. But the way I got introduced to Terry O'Neill was through he used to photograph uh, Sharon Tate, so and Bridget Bardot and like all the my fantasy of how I would like to live, look. You know, we all go through do those little fantasy things. Or is it just me because I'm a Pisces? Um, and so that's how I got introduced to him. And he does beautiful, I mean, beautiful photographs. So when I saw that this came out, look how big this coffee book is. Should we open it? Oh, look at the back. She was just so, or she's still gorgeous. She's still gorgeous. I want to look like her. Can I look like her? Like then, <laughs> please. But, uh, yeah, I don't even know what to say. I'm just like so excited about this book. Now, if you're not into books or collecting things, one of these days I gotta do what's on my bookshelf. I have a lot of just weird stuff. Like, um, yeah, let's 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 take a gander. I did wash my hands, so let's take the dusk jacket off. I do like to do that so I don't get fingerprinty all over it. Oh, that's what it looks like. Let's see. Let's open it up. She is just so beautiful. So, yeah. So, Terry O'Neill would do a lot of um, kind of like at home kind of pictures like with Sharon Tate and stuff. And, God. Bridget Bardot is definitely one of my favorites also. I don't even know what to say. I'm just so excited. Look at her. Doesn't she look like Claudia Schaefer? Or Claudia Schaefer look like her? <sighs> That's another one I want to look like. Anyway, um, yeah. So I need to dive in this because I'm kind of awestruck right now. I don't know what to say about it. I have no words for the first time. But... <laughs> Which is going on? Um, yeah. Oh, God, I can't wait to dive into that. Oh. Anyway, there was something I had to tell you. Well, I can't remember. Anyway, so that's been my big splurge. I think, so that book, I, I got it on Amazon, and I think it was 75 Totally worth it. And the creams were 25 a piece. 
and and the gunny sack dresses are 377 I did get another one I am gonna return it but overall that's the price of them 377 so I hope you like this video I hope you like the little try on haul we'll, we'll catch up a little later I'm just excited for this part I have something else coming in um, soon which I'm very excited about but I'm having a little dilemma because I have another book ordered and it's not coming till November, I think. And this is another person, like, I just love the whole aesthetic. It's Carolyn Brissett Kennedy, by the way. And she's she has a book coming out. Well, she's, someone has a book coming out. She doesn't. And just her fashion and stuff. And I'm so excited about that. But I don't think it comes out until November. Anyway, I bought something that she used to have back in the day. So that's what's coming. Maybe I'll just show you that when it happens. And maybe I'll just carry the book in the thing. It's a whole thing. I don't know what I'm talking about. But please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching this video. I missed you guys so much. And I can't wait to get into regular videos. I'm going to put that video to the side. I decided it will come out. Don't worry. It will come out because it will be funny. But I just don't have the script yet. So, yeah, I know. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching my channel. And until next time. Mm -hmm.